नमस्कार दिस इज नयन ज्योति शर्मा एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम लॉन्चिंग ए न्यू एक्सेसरीज वेयर आई विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम स्लेट 2024 फिजिकल साइंस क्वेश्चन पेपर आई विल ट्राई माय बेस्ट टू प्रोवाइड एरर फ्री कंटेंट्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू बट स्टिल इफ यू डू नॉट एग्री उथ एनी ऑफ माई सोल्यूशन प्लीज लिव ए कमेंट हियर और यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी वाया माई ई मेल आई डी नयन शर्मा थार्टी टू एट द रेट जी मेल डट कम सो उइथाउट फार्दार डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड प्रब्लेम नम्बर वन स्टूडेंट्स दिज प्रब्लेम नम्बर वन इज आस्क फ्रम फोरिया सीरीज टपिक एंड एकर्डिंग टू दिस प्रब्लेम उ हेव ए पिरियडिक फांगशन एफ अफ टी हुज भू इज आई नट सैन ओमेगा टी वेन ओमेगा टी इज इन विटुईन जिरो एंड पाए हाउ एवर वेन ओमेगा टी इज इन विटुईन पाए एंड टू पाए द भू अफ दि पिरियडिक फांगशन एफ अफ टी बिकम्स आई नट इन टू सैन ओमेगा टी प्लस पाए नाउ लेट मी राइट दिस स्टेटमेंट इन मैथमेटिकल फॉर्म फर्स्ट सो गिवेन एफ अफ टी इज इक्वल टू आई नट इन टू सैन ओमेगा टी वेन ओमेगा टी इज इन विटुईन जिरो एंड पाए एगेन उ नो देट सैन ओमेगा टी प्लस पाए इज माइनास सैन ओमेगा टी सो फर दिस केस दि फांगशन बिकम्स माइनास आई नट इन टू सैन ओमेगा टी वेन ओमेगा टी इज इन विटुईन पाए एंड टू पाए Next, our target is we have to find out the correct answer out of these four options. Option A says that if we expand this function f of t with the help of Fourier series, then the series should contain odd harmonics and a DC term. Here, DC term basically means a constant term. So, according to option A, after expanding this function f of t with the help of Fourier series, we should get a constant term and sine terms only. There should not be any cosine terms according to option A. Next option B. The series should contain a DC term and all even harmonics. That means after expanding this function f of t with the help of Fourier series, we should get a constant term and cosine terms only. There should not be any sine terms according to option B. Next option C. According to option C, the series should contain a DC term and all harmonics. That means we should get a constant term and sine as well as cosine terms next move to option d no dc term but all harmonics that means according to option d the value of the constant term is zero but cosine as well as sine terms are present students to solve this problem we have to evaluate the fourier coefficients first that means we have to find out a not a n and b n separately i am not going to evaluate these fourier coefficients here because it will take lot of time please try to evaluate these fourier coefficients by yourselves after long calculations we will get a not as 4 i not divided by pi a n as 0 when n is odd and minus 4 by pi i not divided by n square minus 1 when n is even and bn is equal to 0 here we have seen that since bn equal to 0 so therefore the fourier series will contain a constant term and cosine terms only so therefore the correct answer is option b now let us substitute a not an and bn here so after substituting a not an and bn here we will get the fourier series as f of t is equal to a not by 2 here a not is 4 i not divided by pi so ultimately we will get twice i not divided by pi next an the value of an is minus 4 by pi i not divided by n square minus 1 when n is even so after substituting here we will get minus 4 i not divided by pi summation n goes from 1 to infinity 
cos n omega t divided by n square minus 1. Here, n is even and starts from 2. Okay? And the last part will be cancelled out because b n equal to 0. After simplifying this term, we will get finally f of t as twice i naught divided by pi minus 4 i naught divided by pi into 2 square minus 1, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 into cos twice omega t plus 4 square minus 1, 1 by 15, cos 4 omega t plus dot dot dot. So, this is the constant term or DC term, okay? And this part is known as the even harmonics, okay? So, correct option of question number 1 is B. Next, let me solve problem number 2. Students, this problem number 2 is asked from differential equation topic and according to this problem, the general form of the linear differential equation of second order is option A d2y by dx2 plus p dy by dx plus qy equal to r. Option b dy by dx plus p d2y by dx2 plus qy equal to r. Option c d2y by dx2 plus r dy by dx plus qy equal to p. Option d dy by dx plus p d2y by dx2 plus ry equal to q. Students, it is a very simple and straightforward question. Obviously, the correct option is option A. Okay? Always remember, the general form of second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients is d2y by dx2 plus dy by dx plus qy equal to r, where p and q both are constants and r is a function of x or a constant. Okay? Next, let me solve problem number 3. Students, this problem number 3 is asked from classical mechanics topic and according to this problem, the number of degrees of freedom for a free rigid body in space is option A, 2, option B, 3, option C, 6, option D, infinite. Here, the correct answer is option C. Now, let us understand how option C is the correct answer. Students, we know that total degrees of freedom for a rigid body is consisting of three parts. Number one, translational degrees of freedom. Number two, rotational degrees of freedom. Number three, vibrational degrees of freedom. Here, one important point is that these vibrational degrees of freedom is activated at very high temperature only. And in general, we do not consider these vibrational degrees of freedom in classical mechanics. However, these vibrational degrees of freedom is included in statistical mechanics. So, in case of classical mechanics, total degrees of freedom for a rigid body is the sum of translational degrees of freedom and rotational degrees of freedom. So, according to this problem, the rigid body is moving freely in space. That means it is a three-dimensional case. So, for this case, the translational degrees of freedom is 3 and rotational degrees of freedom is 3. So, ultimately, total degrees of freedom for a rigid body moving freely in space is 6. So, the correct answer is the 
ऑप्शन सी ठीक है नाउ लेट अस सोल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर स्टूडेंट्स दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर इज आल्सो आस्क फ्रॉम क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स टॉपिक एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन ए द लैग्रेंजियन इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन आर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट बिकॉज वी नो दैट द लैग्रेंजियन इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशन फॉर ए कंजर्वेटिव सिस्टम इज गिवन बाय डीडीटी ऑफ डेल एल बाय डेल क्यू जे डॉट माइनस डेल एल बाय डेल क्यू जे इक्वल टू जीरो हियर क्यू जे आर जेनेलाइज कोर्नेट्स क्यू जे डॉट आर जेनेलाइज फेलोसिटीज एंड एल इज नोन एज दि लाग्रांजियन ऑफ दि सिस्टेम हियर बिकज अफ दि प्रेजेंस अफ दिस टर्म दि लाग्रांजियन इक्वेशन अफ मोशन आर सेकेंड अर्डर डिफरेंसियल इक्वेशन सो अपशन ए इज इन करेक्ट नेक्स्ट मुव टू अपशन बी डि एलमर्स प्रिन्सिपल गिवस फार्ष्ट अर्डर डिफरेंसियल इक्वेशन अफ मोशन दिस इज अल्सो इन करेक्ट बिकज उ नो दैट दि मेथेमेटिकल फर्म अफ दि एलमर्स प्रिन्सिपल इज सामेशन आई गोज फ्रम वन टू एन एफ आई इ माइनास पी आई डट इन टू डेल्टा आर आई इक्वल टू जिरो हियर एफ आई इ इज दि एक्सटार्नेल और एप्लाइड फोर्स अन दि आईथ पार्टिकल माइनास पी आई डट इज दि रिभार्स इफेक्टिव फोर्स अन दि आईथ पार्टिकल एंड डेल्टा आर आई इज नोन एज दि भार्सुअल डिसप्लेसमेंट अफ दि आईथ पार्टिकल हियर बिकज अफ दि प्रेजेंस अफ फोर्स टर्म दि डि एलमर्स प्रिन्सिपल इज ए सेकेंड ऑर्डर डिफरेंसियल इक्वेशन सो ऑप्शन बी इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट नेक्स्ट मूव टू ऑप्शन सी एकॉर्डिंग टू ऑप्शन सी हेमिल्टनियन इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन आर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डिफरेंसियल इक्वेशन दिस इज करेक्ट बिकज वी नो दैट हेमिल्टन्स कैनोनिकल इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन आर गिभेन बै किू जे डट इज इक्वल टू डेल एच डिवाइडेड बै डेल पी जे पी जे डट इज इक्वल टू माइनास डेल एच डिवाइडेड बै डेल किू जे डेल एल डिवाइडेड बै डेल टी इज इक्वल टू माइनास डेल एच डिवाइडेड बै डेल टी हियर किू जे आर जेनेलाइज कोर्नेट्स पी जे आर जेनेलाइज मोमेंटा एल इज नोन एज दि लाग्रांजियन अफ दि सिस्टेम एंड एच इज नोन एज दि हेमिल्टनियन अफ दि सिस्टेम सो अपशन सी इज दि कारेक्ट आन्सार फाइनेलि लेट मी सल्व प्रब्लेम नम्बर फाइव दिस प्रब्लेम नम्बर फाइव इज अल्सो आस्क फ्रम क्लासिकल मेकानिक्स टपिक स्टूडेंट्स before solving this problem let me explain you four important terms first one is relativistic particle if the velocity of a particle is comparable with the velocity of light then this particle is known as the relativistic particle second one is non relativistic particle if the velocity of a particle is extremely small compared to the velocity of light then this particle is known as the non relativistic particle next one is lagrangian of a system the difference in kinetic energy and potential energy of a system is known as the lagrangian of a system next one is hamiltonian of a system the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is known as the hamiltonian of a system now let me read the question number 5 according to question number 5 the lagrangian of a relativistic particle is option a L is equal to half m x dot square minus v x. This is not correct because this actually represents the Lagrangian of a non-relativistic particle having degrees of freedom one. So this is not the case for relativistic particle. Next option B. According to option B, L is equal to m c square minus m not c square. This actually represents the kinetic energy of a relativistic particle. So therefore. option b is also incorrect option c l is equal to minus m not square divided by gamma minus u x this is correct here gamma is equal to 1 by root over 1 minus v square by c square so the correct answer for the lagrangian of a relativistic particle is l is equal to minus m not c square divided by gamma minus u x finally let me write one important statement the hamiltonian the hamiltonian of a relativistic particle is relativistic particle is 
h is equal to root over c square p square plus m naught square into c to the power 4 plus u x. Please remember this term. So, this is all about today's video and I hope that you have learned a lot from this video.